Mohr circle is the graphical representation of general state of stress at a point. It is useful in visualizing relationship between normal and shear stresses on an element. Stress condition during a triaxial test can be beautifully represented using Mohr circle. In this video tutorial, we will see how to use Mohr circle to determine the total shear stress parameter C and phi. For this, we will take a help of numerical on triaxial test. So this is a problem statement that we have been given. Please read the problem statement later on. So basically what is given to us is there is a soil on which three triaxial tests are performed and we have got the values of sigma 3 and sigma 1 that is minor and major principal stresses for each set of stress. And we have been asked to determine values of C and phi and also plot the Mohr circle and determine shear strength envelope. What is this shear strength envelope? We'll see later on. But before we go ahead and draw the Mohr circle, we need to understand some basics of the Mohr circle. In Mohr circle, normal stresses are plotted on x axis, and these normal stresses are denoted by symbol sigma. Similarly, shear stresses are plotted on y axis and they are denoted by symbol tau. As we are not discussing stress transformation in this tutorial, so we'll skip all unrelated information and directly jump to what we need in order to draw more circle. To draw any circle, we need to define two important parameters. First, center of the circle. Second, radius of the circle. The center of more circle in a triaxial test is located at a distance O equals to sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2. Of course, from the origin of the plot. And the radius of circle is equals to R equals to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2. Here sigma 1 is the major principal stress and sigma 3 is the minor principal stress. There is a one more intermediate principal stress that is sigma 2 but that is out of our scope so we will not discuss that over here. In case of triaxial test minor principal stress is equals to cell pressure applied using pressurized water as you can see over here. And major principal stress is nothing but the vertical stress applied from the top. During a triaxial test, vertical stress is increased by keeping cell pressure constant till the soil fails in shear. The value of cell pressure and vertical stresses at the point of failure are given to us in the numerical. Okay, so now we have understood some basic principles about the Mohr circle so we can go ahead and actually calculate the radius and locate the center of each Mohr circle. As we know the formula for radius of a circle r equals to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2. So radius of the first circle will be r1 equals to 600 minus 200 by 2 that is 200. Similarly radius of the second circle will be r2 equals to 300 and radius of the third circle will be r3 equals to 1200 minus 400 by 2 that is 400. This is how we can calculate the radius of each Mohr circle. Doesn't matter how many of them are given to us, we can calculate by using this formula r equals to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2. Similarly, we will calculate the center of each Mohr circle. The first circle will be located at a distance O1 equals to 200 plus 600 by 2 that is 400. It will be from the origin, origin of the plot. Similarly, the center of second and third circle are located at a distance 600 and 800 mm respectively as you can see over here, I have done the calculation. Also, we have not decided the scale of the circle so far, so I will not uh, write down any units to this radius and center, we will do that later on. We will move to our next step that is plotting of the circle. For plotting the Mohr circle, we will take a graph and mark the x axis and y axis. Remember x axis represent normal stresses and y axis represent shear stresses. Next and one of the most important step in this entire process is the deciding the scale of the plot. The scale is crucial part of the solution. We don't want our circle to be too big or too small on the page. So we will have to take the scale in such a way that the circles are properly fitted on the page. They are not too big or too small. So for this numerical purpose, I'll take the scale equals to 100 kN per meter square equals to 1 cm on the graph. Okay, now uh, we have all that is required to draw the Mohr circle. So we'll go ahead 
and start plotting the Mohr circle. To plot the first circle, take the compass, measure 4 cm which represents radius of our first circle. Then keep the tip of the compass at center O1 and draw the semicircle like this. For second circle, measure the distance equals to 6 cm. Then keep the tip of the compass at center O2 and draw the circle like this. Similarly, we can draw the third circle with the center at O3 and radius 8 cm. Now we have drawn all three circles. We can determine the value of C and phi. For that purpose, we will draw a common tangent to all these three circles. A common tangent line that touches all three circles simultaneously. This common tangent line represents the fair envelope. Remember in the numerical, we have been asked to determine the fair envelope. Uh, failure envelope. So this tangent line is nothing but the failure envelope. The angle between this tangent with the x-axis represents the value of phi and the y-coordinate of the point where failure envelope or our tangent line touches the y-axis gives, gives us the value of cohesion. Over here the value of tangent line is passing through our origin so that's why the value of c is 0. Uh, we'll measure the value of inclination and y coordinate and will be done. For this numerical, the value of c is 0 and phi is 30 degrees. Here the value of c is 0, so we don't need to convert it into kilometer per meter square. But if the value of c is non-zero, don't forget to convert it into proper scale. This is how we draw the Mohr circle and uh, this is done only for total stress parameter. If you want to draw the Mohr circle and determine effective values of C and phi, I have given a procedure for that in a PDF. You can find that PDF in the description. This is all I had in this video tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys till then take